Marley, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm actually great. Well, first I want to tell you, we have a mutual friend in common. Uh, Chris Laveau is a very good friend of mine. How do you know Chris? <laughs> yes, uh, I did a lot of stuff for Anne in the Apocalypse. No way! <laughs> Where, where did you guys meet? Well, what happened was when the film came out and they, I ended up doing a bunch of Q and A's for it. And we, he and I hit it off instantly. We, yeah, we, we talk every so often. He's just one of the most amazing people. And he's had nothing but like, I, excuse this foul language, but when he described you, he's like, she's so fucking talented. <laughs> Oh, I love Chris. I remember the first day when we met in rehearsals and we did like a day and then we were like, we went back to like her hotel place and he was like, I'm just so glad that you're a cat. He was, he was, he was just so kind. So I was, it was I, we were just so happy with each other that being cast, but he's, I, I'm going to text him and say that I've met you, but also he's studying to be a doctor now. Yes. Yes. He's going medical. Oh, isn't he just like an amazing person? And throughout lockdown, it was like, I think he was a nurse. He was like going out to people's houses and looking after them and helping. He's incredible. Yeah, he's incredible. And so are you, by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 know, I love, could talk about Anna and the Apocalypse all the time, but I want to talk about this performance. You were awesome in this show. Thank you. That's really kind. How did you get involved? And in what, I mean, you know, jumping on from a, a zombie musical to, you know, a very serious role. <laughs> And I just, I auditioned and I, I didn't know a lot about the Alex Radio world initially. Um, a lot of my friends had read the books and knew about it. Um, and it just came through and then they were like, oh my God, Alex Radio. So, and then it kind of just, yeah, got the part and then was like thrust into this world. And obviously Kyra's not in the book. So um, it was sort of like finding my feet and like figuring out where she sits within this world. And it's it's just, it's the loveliest cast. So it's it's been it's such a great job to work on because genuinely love working with all these people and, and especially in series two I get to meet more of the characters I didn't get to meet in series one so um that's that's probably my favorite part of series two getting to act with them yeah you actually I love the fact that you have a lot more to do and I was waiting for you to show up I've seen the whole season oh. and I, it, I it, yeah I saw the whole season two I haven't yet I have seen <laughs> four. Oh my god are they good they're really good <laughs> you're great at it but what how did you know it, it's funny because i was watching it i'm thinking well how, what is her accent because it's such a it's a really legitimately good accent i was like wait is this more like her accent because <laughs> i had someone else who was like what's your accent i was like i don't i'm sorry so I, I didn't at first when i when i was auditioning for it they were quite open to it so in point blank obviously it was kids from they wanted to be very international from like all over the world yes. so they were quite open to like shaping it well they told me when i auditioned for it they want they based kyra kind of off like um elizabeth sander girl the dragon tattoo vibes so i was like okay eastern european and, I, and my mom's actually her her grandmother um well it's, it wasn't russia but back then it was russia but she was like sort of lithuania ukraine that kind of yeah. if you don't know exactly so um i was like okay so i've got some kind of heritage to that so i was like i'll do i was trying to look into a ukraine accent and then I'm half Chinese, so we were like, we'll, we'll combine that, and that's what Kyra is. But um, I obviously, I'm not doing a Chinese accent because also what Kyra said, like, Kyra has such, like, tech speak within it. Like, she says yeah. such complicated stuff that we're like, it also needs to be understandable to an audience. So, like, I, I went in looking at a Ukraine accent, but then trying to make it, she's also very international. I reckon she's traveled a lot, and she lives in lots of different places in the world. So a uh, slight like American influence as well, so just to keep her keep her accent not super strong from anywhere so that it was it was understandable too yeah it's really it's it's really a good it's solid because it's a very believable character what else have you taken from Kyra no this season has been such a it's been such a joy seeing you kind of get in heavily in the on the action being with the family what what have you learned this season from last Ooh. what like me personally as an actor or the character I'd say both because I think Ky Kyra has a really lovely journey in series two where she kind of she kind of throughout the series kept reminding Alex and Tom that they need her they need her help that she they can't do this without her and I when I first read that I was like it's interesting that she keeps saying this and then it sort of became apparent that like she doesn't know friendship really um she doesn't really know she's quite a lonely person up until now she thinks to be in people's lives you have to be 
um, doing something for them, really. She has to, she kind of like, she helped Alex in series one. So that's her relationship to him. She doesn't really understand you can just be friends with someone and be around because they like you. It's not that you're doing anything for them. So it's, and she kind of learns that from Tom. because She's kind of like, why are you here? <laughs> when she first meets Tom, she's like, what is your skill set? What are you bringing to the table? And she's quite horrible to him. Well, she's just quite like harsh because she's quite a blunt person. And then yeah. she's, and he sort of says, you know, me and Alex have just been best mates forever. Like, that's why I'm here. We're best mates and I'm here because I love him and he loves me. And, and then she's like totally confused by this relationship. And then by the end of series two, she's like, oh, I, I right. Like these people also want me around not for just what I can do, but because they're my friends and I think they like me. So like, that's a lovely journey. I think that Kyra goes on. I think so too. It, it's what I what impresses me about the show. My wife was already watching it. She was a fan before, and uh, you know, so I'm watching it with her, and I'm just like, I love the fact that these. It feels very genuine, and it feels very. All of you work so well together. Was that an easy find, to, especially during these crazy times? We're in weird times with the pandemic. Was it weird? Was it nice to find that kind of group that you could just merge with and and click with? it's super easy like even in in series one like even though we didn't have a lot of scenes together because there was uh in point blank the kind of the younger cast like bren would just come hang out with us all the time like whenever we went to the pub he would come out <laughs> so like already right, knew bren really well and then i got to know lonke super well in and well i mean i don't get loads of scenes with her but we were all in bristol and then like also in between series one and series two like i got to know lonke really well and um so it, it was just it's just a lovely group of people and even even if you don't know people it's a very like easy like kind of chilled group of people that they're very welcoming to anyone so it, it was yeah just it's just a lovely group of people. and I think because Otto helms it and he's so open and so friendly and just a, such a lovely guy that he kind of sets that tone yeah it's it's the the chemistry between you two is marvelous by the way how did you find that and was that was that just an instant thing that you you guys discovered weirdly so when I um my chemistry test for series one was with Otto so he just he'd been cast and then um so I remember the first time meeting Otto and I was I was kind of unsure because I didn't really know the world I was I wasn't given full scripts I was given just sides um to work off of and I, I was a bit unsure of like what this story was and what Kyra's part was it and as soon as I met Otto I was like I want to do this so bad because acting with him is so much fun like he's he's such a brilliant actor and like instantly it was quite funny like when in our chemistry test I was I was very nervous and straight away messed up couldn't remember my lines but Otto just ad -libbed. he just started going off book and, and started making things up so then I was like okay so I continued with him just like improv -ing. and we kind of found our way to the end of the scene and the director Andreas from series one was like interesting that was not what was written but like you guys let's try that again you, you guys kept going so like he's he just totally rested me in, in my audition scene so he's um kind of from that get-go I, I feel like there's been it's been very easy to have chemistry with Otto because I just really enjoy acting with him and, he, and he's very very good that's nice what, what what do you hope to come you know with with if if you go to season three what do you hope to do with your character how how what what is there something you'd like to do with this Ooh. I don't know. I'm really, I mean, I think the relationship between Kyra and Alex is the fine, the thing that I find most interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued to see how that evolves. I, I don't really know where, like, where that, would, where it's going to go if it does go anywhere. Like, I've not been told anything. So, um, and I, I feel like there are these frustrating characters who are, are very similar in a lot of ways and, and they're both not very emotionally articulate. So they're, they're they so need each other in a lot of ways and, and want to be in each other's lives, but aren't good at saying that. And so, it's I don't know if they're ever Kyra just doesn't seem to stick about long enough either to see see if anything whether that's friendship or whatever like I don't I it's hard to, to know I'd be interested to see them kind of go against each other because they've been so supportive of each other and so their their journeys have, have kind of matched up where they kind of have needed to help each other it'd be interesting to see them be on, on opposite sides I kind of would be intrigued to see how that would work yeah, well, you're amazing. It was so good meeting you finally. <laughs> oh, lovely to meet you. I'm going to text Chris straight away. Oh, please do. Tell him hi. <laughs> I, I really will. Bye.